Hello Truth Seekers. So the topic of this video is about preserving fruit with a pyramid. Specifically for my own personal experiment, I'm questioning the idea that the pyramids actually preserve fruit. I think instead there is some type of desiccation action. Before I show you my own experiment, let's look at this particular clip. I was watching that. Can you see this? This is like squidgy, soft, all around. Um, so that was the fruit that she did not have in a pyramid. Now she's going to describe the fruit that's inside of the pyramid. And then this is the one that's been in the pyramid. I don't know if you can see that, but it's still really hard. I noticed that it appears to be somewhat dry too. All the way around. The skin appears to be a little wrinkly. And it's hard. And the avocado. Avocado, still pretty firm. It's pretty much exactly the same as it was when I got it a week ago. And the avocado, and the avocado that wasn't in the pyramid is here. And this now, as you can see, is look squidgy, all squidgy all the way around. These. She goes another five days. Since not last Saturday, but the Saturday before. This is the fruit that was not under the pyramid, and as you can see, it is extremely <laughs> very squidgy everywhere. Um, no good anymore, unfortunately. Um, all the avocados have gone bad, not looking very good at all. And yeah, like. Is that they're all squelchy and really not not good, unfortunately anymore. Um, you can still eat this. This is still firm. This is firm. It looks gross to me. Soft. I apologise, but you could see from the results from before how it was after a week. But that's all squidgy. This mango is still hard. I mean, it's still good. In fact, I'm gonna cut it open right now and show you. Now, hard does not necessarily mean good. Okay, so I hope that you can see this okay. So I'm gonna cut into this and show you. Well, actually that does look pretty good. It's really good. So, I mean, I'm actually gonna eat this in a minute. Look how good this is. Beautiful, it's perfect, edible, and it's been under the pyramid for a week and a half. Now, if you take this guy that hasn't been under the pyramid. I'm gonna show you the difference. I mean, as you can see, this is That's really nasty. all from it. Now I'll go ahead and show you my experiment. I had acquired two plums about two and a half months ago. These are really small plums which appeared almost as like oversized cherries. I placed one of these plums in a plastic box and it has been sitting there for a few months. I placed the other plum inside the pyramid. As you can appreciate, the plum in the plastic box appears to have little hair sticking off of it. This is actually fungus. It's extremely gross. The fungus is black, replacing the original color of the plum. It's still very plump and large. Very rad little fungal hyphae there. Now we take a look at the pyramid specimen. It's very shriveled and small and dried. I suspect that with a pyramid, if you leave a fruit in place long enough, you undergo a desiccation type of process where it becomes more shriveled and dried. Unlike the pyramid experiment you saw previously, in my experiment, the walls are hard and um, the specimen. I 
I then choose to move around the specimens. It takes me quite a bit of force just to move the plastic box which has been sitting in place for a few months. I don't really have a good alternative explanation as far as why these two plums turned out so differently from one another. Air has access to both of these. There is a difference in the size of the space in each of these containers. I plan to replicate this experiment with different fruit to see if similar results are achieved. <laughs> 